commentator I know of who knows anything about Syria. Most of them don't know anything. But the ones who know anything and uh, who care about the fate of the Syrians are, mm -hmm. as far as I can see, uniformly opposed to military intervention. They say, terrible as it, as it is, there just has to be some form of effort, at least strong effort at negotiations and mm -hmm. to see if you can figure out a way for Assad to get out mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. suicide, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, there was the same attitude on Libya. Yeah. I mean, the West, it's claimed that uh, everybody supported us. In fact, the three imperial states were very isolated. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, almost the whole world was calling for negotiations and diplomacy. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, never, almost never gets reported. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, and it's the same on Syria. I don't. I, I actually don't see it. I, I can't even sketch out a military well, scenario, scenario yeah. for any of them. But uh, uh, the only hope is to move towards uh, dampening down the violence of the conflict. It's going the other direction with arms pouring in and so mm -hmm. on. But uh, and trying to set up some kind of a diplomatic arrangement in which uh, the Assad regime can sort of fade away, but without mm -hmm. suicide. Yeah. Not, um, if you drive them into a corner and say, if you, uh, either you accept destruction and, destru and massacre the Alawites, or, and that's mm -hmm. it, they're going to keep fighting. Mm -hmm. And the Turkey's I mean, played a fairly reasonable role in this. I don't know what else they could do. Mm -hmm.